Hey, gang. Uh, actually, that is a mallet in my pants, and I am happy to see you. Uh, my name is Masada Ayoub. It's April 20, 2008, and we're on the Pro Arms shooting range in Live Oak, Florida. A couple of weeks ago, Sturm Ruger announced a recall on this pistol, the SR9, uh, with 330 prefix serial numbers. I don't know if the camera can zoom in, but this one is serial 330 -03 the warning from the factory is that the guns can theoretically discharge accidentally if dropped or struck at the rear with the manual safety, which I'm indicating here is in the fire position. Uh, presumably it will not occur if the safety is up and then the on safe position is indicated here. I had done a test of this for a couple of the different gun magazines, including guns. Uh, I had some criticisms of the gun, but overall we found it totally reliable and uh, very ergonomic in many ways. I didn't think the safety was quite in the right place for the average human hand and didn't care much for the trigger. What none of us expected was that a gun introduced in late 2007 would, would not be drop safe. That is, uh, would be susceptible to an inertia fire if something struck the gun front or back end hard enough to drive the firing pin forward. We don't have the exact details yet from Ruger on what's happening mechanically that's causing the recall. What we're going to do is see if we can replicate uh, one of those here today. This is the SR9 pistol, in fact, the one that I did test for Guns Magazine. The ammunition that we're using is Federal's uh, generic brand American Eagle, a uh, 9mm full metal jacket, 124 grain. The reason I chose Federal, they seem to have the most sensitive primers in the industry, and if anything is going to go from an inertia impact from a firing pin, it's going to be a Federal primer. The pistol in question has a magazine disconnector safety, which means that the, the gun will not fire if the magazine has been removed. So I'm going to load a single cartridge into the magazine, then jack it into the firing chamber, leave the magazine in place, and we'll see what happens. Uh, the backstop is here to my right. As you can see, I'm taking the manual safety off, inserting the magazine, cycling the single live cartridge into the firing chamber. You can see that the firing, uh, or rather the loaded chamber indicator is up with the, uh, the little red flag showing. I'll hold the pistol here with my finger outside the trigger guard so it's going to be clear that I'm not causing it to fire. We'll take the mallet, and we'll see if we can make her go. Everybody's clear? Well, this one apparently is not going to inertia fire. I'll have to pull the trigger. Bottom line is, we try to stay on top of this stuff. We'll keep you posted when we hear more from Ruger. They're saying it is absolutely safe to carry with the, the gun in the on-safe position. I'm not here to bash Ruger. Uh, hell, I carry one on duty. This is my department issue, uh, Ruger P345. And I've owned the gun, Ruger guns, handguns, since I was 12 years old. I uh, won a few championships with them over the years. The fact is, anytime something new comes out, those of us who are the first on the block to buy it become the beta testers people who will find out in actual field use what may or may not have been missed in the laboratory testing. That's about all we have to say on it. We'll keep you posted. Stay safe.